Hi there, Liquid Alexandra, room specialist at Autodesk. I just want to go over a quick lighting scene with this studio's lighting scene set up by Cave Academy. Particularly this Maya Studio look development lighting environment scene, as well as this Maya character look dev and lighting project. Definitely recommend you check out these scenes, they're an excellent learning resource. Okay, so I've combined the two scenes together and rearranged them like so. So I've got an umbrella and a softbox light. The scene's been lit by two mesh lights in the room. Going to the render cam. So we've got the Sophia model from the content browser, so if you want to join in you can import that model. So I'm going to start off by selecting the umbrella light, push Ctrl F in the outline to jump to the geo, and select the white diffuser object, convert it to a mesh light. So first of all, going to increase the exposure to around 15. You can see the reflection nicely in the chrome sphere there. Change the colour. Or the colour temperature, something warm or cooler. Use a value of 6500. This light. I'll put a link in the description for some useful colour temperature values. And we can make the light visible. So that's with it no longer visible. Oh, light sample of 1, which is fine for IPR, but for final rendering, we we'll want to increase that to 3 samples. Save car shadows. So we're getting shadows from the roof lighting. Can change the shadow density or the shadow color for artistic reasons. If you was to have atmosphere volume in the scene, environment sphere volume, it's the density. Start to see the atmosphere volume in the light. We go to the visibility options, we can reduce the volume effect of that light. Tweak some of the other visibility options of the light, reducing the diffuse. So we're just getting specular now. Just reduce the specular so we're getting the reflection of the chrome ball. And of course, add some light filters, so the light block it off. Set the gizmo, scale it up, increase the density, so just want the lights at the top of the model, change the geometry to a plane, the light top, top of the body, we'll leave the rest we also add a light decay. Maybe we'll use for our television, just increase the far end. Just get light on the on the sphere model rather than the background. Okay, so next we can create a light group. Call this one umbrella. And then for the softbox slide, we can also create a uh, mesh light for that as well. So select the piece geometry mesh light like we did before. Call this softbox. Maybe just increase the exposure and then remember to turn the volume down for that light. So now we're getting some light on the side as well. So now we've got AOV light group names for the lights. We can open up the Arnold render view window and create to light pixel imager. Start up our render. So you notice we didn't give the roof lights light groups. That means we can add a residual lights. And then we can reduce those. Exposure negative values minus one, two stops. So we get more lighting focused on the model. Okay, so maybe we want to change the tip colour to the lights. So 
Wiss. Maybe you want more lighting from the softbox so it could actually increase the exposure. One or two stops. And just the umbrella lighting as well. Quite easily would I have to re-render the scene. Okay, so that's an introduction to studio lighting in M2A. Thanks for watching and bye for now.